Hello, this is Pam from Down Under Recumbent Trike Benches. Today we are going to do a video about microphones and how we came to our choice of our current microphone which is a Rode Go To Wireless microphone. This one here has got two microphones and one receiver. The receiver sits on top in the cold shoe of the GoPro 8 which I've got it on right now and on each of our collars we've got the uh, the microphone you can actually set it to only work with one microphone which is what I have got now well, I'll test that first and then I'll get James to turn his on and then we will also do a test because they're supposed to be good up to 200 meters apart so we'll test that out we're also going to test out a purple panda lapel but it's a corded microphone and also the ceremonic one which microphone which i had on my canon g7x i have plugged in the receiver into the media mod case it has like a, a cold shoe attachment on the media mod case in the top that's where you turn it on that button there and then you plug in the cord to the receiver and then into the camera into the um on the on the media mod case there it's got two buttons here. The one on the left is to adjust the decibels and the one on the right is to change between one speaker and two speakers. These are the, the microphones and you just turn it on down the bottom the same way. And it's got the little windsock on the top. So we're just doing a local run. The other day we went we went out and I had I was riding beside the highway. I will include some of those there, but I'd rather start this video with <coughs> the clearest um, my, the clearest voice, and I will include the um, highway tests I did. You could hear me talk, but there was a lot of noise, a lot of highway noise. We have our little trusty Molly in the back and she has not been well. She's good again now, but a couple of weeks ago she spent two nights in an intensive care with an inflamed gallbladder, pancreas and liver. And she had two nights on a drip and then she had another week's antibiotics. And then last Friday she went to the vet and got the all clear. But they did another ultrasound on her organs and they were all back to normal. So she's very excited to be joining us again on the video for a, well, on a ride. Got two microphones on now, so James can have a little talk. Okay, okay are we ready to go? Yes. Let's go, we'll test it out with the distance. I'll just see how far I can get in front while we can still hear the microphones and they're still transmitting. And there's nothing in between as well. Good morning. Good morning. And, and we have little Miss Molly in the back having her say as well. So you can see the distance that James is currently here. So I'm going to just ride slowly and let him get gradually further ahead of me. Okay, so I would say we're getting close to 100 metres now. That's not 100 metres. <laughs> oh, well. That's only about 20 metres. Excuse me. 100 metres is the length of a football field. Mm. And we're, we're more than 100 metres. But either way, we're still a reasonable distance anyway. That's far enough, I think. Keep going. I'll let you get to the end of the street. Can you still hear me? I can still hear you on the uh, intercoms. Which James is out of sight and also there's trees in between us and he's gone around a corner. So I would say at a, at a guess that it, that's a great success, except they don't like being out of line of sight. So in a moment, I'm going to take the roadie system off and I'm going to test out the uh, purple panda 
which works very well because I've had it on both the Canon and the GoPro 5 but the issue I find is, is it's got the cords which go between the camera and the microphone and what happens is when I switch sides when I'm recording sometimes that one, and the cord's quite long it can get tangled up in things like the bell I have tried tucking it um, to one side and that's not too bad so we're going to try out the purple panda on the GoPro 8 I now have the purple panda corded mic and it's attached to a lapel mic on my collar and we are testing this on the GoPro 8 this will only pick up me the issue I have with it is the cord when I want to stop to take a photo or something like that the camera is attached to the cord and it's just a bit awkward but we have found that the sound is pretty good and works fairly well disadvantage is if we want to have two people speaking we can't because there's only one microphone and that's why we looked at the Rode wireless go to be nice to be able to talk without someone else giving a commentary in the back people are right over here buying their prawns we've got a media mod case on the GoPro 8 and that allows you to it has a cold shoe attachment on the top and the side and it allows you to plug an external microphone in I have done a test with this the media mod case which actually worked out surprisingly well not quite sure in very very heavy winds how well it would go but it performed pretty good the other day okay this is the GoPro 8 just with the mod media mod case on it no no microphones it has a, a microphone in it itself and it's actually not too bad as well but I just don't think if you were you you pick up the wind noise just riding quietly or talking quietly is probably um, going to be okay so I don't know if it will pick up any wind noise now while we're riding but we'll give it a go it doesn't come with the wind soft but the apparently the GoPro 9 the case that goes with that has a, a windsock on it and we watched a lady called Itchy Boots who has one on there and it's a real soft and a lot bigger setup but it's got the um, fitted windsock on it but we're not sure whether that would fit the GoPro 8 or not and the golf course the marina and the barker She's a little bit better than what she was yesterday. Yesterday she had a field day, field day of barking. But she normally barks when she's excited. And, and when she hasn't been out for a while. She spent the week where she was recovering and we didn't want to take her out. Come on. Yes, yesterday when we went out, and James was uh, getting heading towards the back door and he was he was using his he uses a walker inside the house. She crawled underneath his walker to get to the back door so that because she didn't want to miss out on going for a ride. I have now changed over the microphone to a ceremonic mic which just fits externally into the media mod case. There's no cords to it. I've previously been using the uh, Ceremonic on my Canon G7X. We're testing out the Ceremonic microphone fitted into my GoPro 8. So it's beautiful along here this morning. We've let Miss Molly out for a nature stop. So she should be a lot happier and a lot quieter very peaceful along here the next footage coming up is shot with the GoPro 5 with the Rodi Go 2 and I'd like you to notice the difference in the background noise 
it's much quieter with the roadie go too. Okay, we are testing the GoPro 5 with the Rody wireless mic. And we're going to ride up to the top of the hill, but I probably won't have this on while we're riding up the hill. The water is very, very clear. Bit of a bit of a smoggy day. There's a little little jetty up here. There's no one on that, we can ride out there. There should be enough room to turn around. We rode out here one day and there was a guy, there was a guy fishing and he must have have left his um, rods there and he was watching us like a hawk, like we were going to take his rods. Has it always been there? Yeah, we just discovered a little bollard that I don't believe has always been there. The harbour up the other end and there's a really little finch on the post. Just do a pan around. That's the hill that we're going to ride up. Well you see that car going up there now. We're riding up that hill. I'm doing a test with the Roadie Go 2 wireless mic and the on the GoPro 8 and the camera is mounted on my boom so I'm just testing to see if you'll hear any motor noise I don't expect that you will hear motor noise because we had it on James's trike recently and you couldn't hear the motor noise the roadie go to has three different decibel settings that you can set it up on and I've got it set up on the lowest one and you can select between the two different uh, microphones I've just got it on the single setting because I'm just out riding by myself at the moment so we're heading up towards where the highway is so we'll see what noise this picks up on here the other day it picked up a lot of noise but I wasn't convinced I had it set on the right settings. So heading up the highway now, beside the highway, there'll probably be a bit of road noise, the traffic going past. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me talking. It's another nice day today. So riding beside the highway, and I've got some cyclists coming towards me now. Good morning. And they were no speaky cyclists. Some people will say hello to you and others won't. The big truck just went past. Probably the busy part now. You could hear more noise here I would think because we're a bit out in the open. testing out the GoPro 8 with the media mod on it now just to see what it's like regarding wind noise or anything else it's not extremely windy but it's got a little bit of breeze 
to see what it's like as far as um, interference of noise goes. There it is. Okay, this is another test of the GoPro 8 with the media mod and a ceremonic microphone plugged into it. So we'll just see how this goes when we're riding along. We're riding along the Tango Foreshore now, back to Lord Shonko. A little puppy there that was scared of us. Some, some young dogs get um, frightened of the trikes. So from those last two tests that I just showed, the GoPro 8 was mounted on the boom, and they, both those two microphones, or the media mod case by itself, and the ceremonic mic were picking up the sound of the uh, Bafang motor and you may have noticed that when I did the previous test with the GoPro on the boom with the Rode Go 2 it wasn't picking up the sound of the motor so that was quite impressive. So in conclusion with these microphones what we found is that the, um, the Go 2 wireless works very very well and it seems to be cutting out a lot of the background noise. The Purple Panda works uh, equally well with the sound but the disadvantage is that you've got the corded cords between the microphone and the camera which you can get a bit tangled up in and the Ceremonic, well that works, that works pretty good uh, as well and I'll probably use it like I'm using this now, this is on the Canon G7X with the Ceremonic and as I said works works well and it, there's no cords so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and get a little bit out of it thank you for watching